There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. He's even putting up. Sherry, Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. I don't know what is beyond this door, but I can feel it buzzing, angry, like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And truth? You do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona. So many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. John, my anima, my brother, there is nothing more important in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me, but my path was set long ago. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just... Please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. Didn't I remember we had such a big garden? Maybe you forgot it for your own good. Is that the raft we made together, John? Looks more like a pile of rotten planks now. That's from Mother's favorite tea set. What is it doing in here?
Sherry. Hurry! must help calm her down. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? Wait. I remember this artifact from Mother's collection. Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. No, I have made my decision. She must be sent to a legitimate medical facility. I will not let her hurt Sherlock. What? Master Holtz, you do not understand. That will be all. I expect you to have left the house by week's end. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Sherry? Come here, darling. 
Sherlock? I'm here, come closer. Coming, mother. This was for my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. Take me to my flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, mother. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on. If you want. That would be wonderful. Just look at them. The stars of the earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. It looks so peaceful. Mycroft knew you would like it. We should put some fish in it, don't you think? How about some carp? That's a nice idea. Let's visit your father's tree. It grows so fast, just like you. We could even build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. Speaking of your father, could you call him out, please? Mom! He's... I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No. Don't you dare say such things. <coughs> you are a liar like all the others. Mother. Don't call me that. You aren't fooling me. No. Mommy it hurts. My son would never lie. Mom, stop. Who are you? Reveal yourself. Please, to whom? It's me, Sherlock. You are not my Sherry. Get me my stuff up, I'll drop you.
Sherlock. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry, you knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. I... I killed my own mother, John. It is unforgivable. It was an accident, Sherlock. She was mad, abusive. You were a child, simply trying to help. How could I... how could she... You were a lie, John. A fiction. A crutch. No, I was... I was a friend. Sherlock, please. <sighs> Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. The truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. <clears throat> there is only one thing to be done. What are you talking about? To expect adherence to the principles of truth and justice, but to fail to hold oneself likewise accountable, it would be hypocrisy. My mother died by my hand. I must turn myself into the authorities and face the consequences of my actions. The consequences of your actions. You were a child. She did this to you, not you unto her. You are throwing your life away in an act of moralistic vanity. Think of all you could accomplish for our nation. This is where we differ, Mycroft. To you, the ends justify the means. To me, the means have decided the end. The truth is the truth. Fine, Sherlock. Walk yourself into the police station and pray those men you oft embarrassed hold no grudges. If you're lucky, they'll simply exile you. If not, I'll see you in 20 years. Are you going to berate me too? Try and talk me out of it? As I told my brother, if I cannot demonstrate the character, I chastise others for lacking. Sherry, I think this is something you will have to do yourself. Myself? How do you mean? All I ever did, all I ever wanted, was to protect you from what happened. And now you tell me I was wrong to try, that it was ego or hypocrisy to show a young boy kindness. But it was just empathy, creativity, and love for one's self. So please, please, Sherlock, don't do it. Why? Why can none of you see it? The truth is the truth. A murder is a murder. Tell me, John, why? Because you're breaking my heart. I know you've decided. I know. I just wish you hadn't. I, I'm, I'm sorry, John. All these years we spent together, all the time I took for granted. You'll always be a part of me. No, Sherry. That's the point. I don't think I will.
Why are you here? Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. You and I are not friends. In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy a boat. Ha! Is that right? I can see it now. I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. You questioned it. Everything I did, everything I believed to... to break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur in silk. Was it vengeance, madam? Or do you prefer Klaus? Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. You hold me responsible for his end. Ha! There was no love lost between me and my brother. I am sure you can relate. Otto was merely the gravity that pulled me into your orbit. Or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep away. Why? What reason do you have for all of this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest. Until I helped you to let go of the rock. And now, nothing beside remains. I remain. Despite you, and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this, or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, I brought you something. I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. You really are beautiful. I was prepared to take responsibility for my actions, but again my brother conspired against me. A little diplomatic pressure, and the trial was dismissed. Instead, I was exiled from Cordona. Freedom never tasted so bitter. Another perversion of justice at Mycroft's hand. With no means, no home, and no purpose, I returned to London. I enrolled at Cambridge University, but few lectures held my interest. I prefer to spend time alone at the hospital laboratory, pursuing truths in chemical form. No one there questions my choices. I have begun to attract a desperate clientele, men that skulk after me, pleading for answers to their simple mysteries. At first, the distraction was unwelcome. Now, I find myself craving it, lest my mind drift back to the island, to Mother, to John. What was her life worth? How many adulterers and petty thieves will it take to make it right? In anything? <laughs> I found it! I found it! I found it! And what is that? How far, um, bruises may be produced after death. How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt, but practically... Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases oft hinge upon how a man died. Now, 
we can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo, one will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Well, then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. I, I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you. I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rouse because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. But those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rouse? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John. <laughs>